What's up everyone, Game Master 48 here, bringing you yet another one-parter walkthrough. This one is a bit different. Let me show you what I mean by turning this on. And it's a Spongebob game, as you can clearly see. This time I'm doing a one-parter walkthrough of the game, Spongebob's Dilly Dabbler. Now, I don't know if a lot of people know about this game, but basically this is like a game that's built into the controller, basically. You buy the controller, then you pretty much just have the game. It's one of those things where you just hook it up to your TV, and then you turn on the controller, and then you can just start playing. Yeah. And there's not really a major scoreline or anything, this is just basically a minigame collection. There are three, four, five, six, seven games here, and I'm going to show you all of them. Alright, we're going to start, we're going to go counterclockwise, starting with the game, Mr. Spongehead. I thought that said Ted for a second. I don't know why. But basically, this is like, you know, dressed up Spongebob, basically. I don't want to put props on him. Let's see. Let's not put him in his underwear. Doot, doot, doot. There we go, and he has a normal nose now. You change his mouth. What on earth was that? Hang on, go back. Go back. Come on. What's this? That's weird looking. Anyway. And you can random and do things like that to make all sorts of weird. That looks very abnormal. Yeah. Alright, I think that's enough of that minigame. There's not really a whole lot to do. Alright, there's Nick and Matt Patrick. And you do just as the game says, you mix and match Patrick. You can also match with the correct body parts. Just gonna... Yeah, I think that's it. There's the cone. I want the what? What's... I don't remember this. Here we go. Yay, we got it right. Alright. I want to find the one that matches the... Red trunks. Yeah, what's this? Let's see. No. 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 Definitely not. Oh, that's what this is. Okay. I get it now. There we go. Sweet, sweet, sweet victory. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, I'll match one more time. Let's see. Alrighty. I don't think that's enough of mixing and matching Patrick. Metal Shaving Makeover. You know those games where you, like, you know, you have those little iron shavings and you can, like, make it look like they have hair and stuff? Yeah, this is nothing like that. <laughs> well, it is, but, like, very dumbed down. Like, you can't do a whole lot, really. Like, you can move it around like this, but you can't really do much. Well, I'm actually doing kind of a lot here, actually. There you go, Squidward. You always wanted some hair, right? Well, there you go. There's some hair. whoop de doo Alright. Well, I guess I should show the other characters, too. Yeah, you can be scary for some reason. Wait, where's Gary? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, you can do Patrick, Spongebob, Sandy, Squidward, and Gary. Pretty cool. Alright, now we're gonna get into more of the minigame part. Rather than just dress up people. You want to memorize the ingredients on the piece of paper. I think I got it wrong already, actually. No, I didn't. Yeah, you want to match the ingredients on the piece of paper that you see here. Now, some of these make sense, like the onions and the patty. 
and all that stuff. Yeah, this one, this makes, this makes sense. There we go. Alright. Howdy, howdy, anchor. They actually let you put an anchor on the patty. Why would you want an anchor on your patty? Who eats that? Next to know, look at that boot. It, someone ordered a boot on their patty for whatever reason. Just... What? That makes no sense. Why would you order that? Like, if, in wood, you really want to taste wood in your patty? Like, if you try to bite into an anchor, I, I don't even remember the ingredients of this. This is me, Patty! And it, why did it, it's, it's, there. Like, you want, okay, you want wood here. I have thousands of blocks of wood. Here. It's what you always wanted, right? Right? Here's a wood patty. No, I'm at it. Here's a boot patty. Here's all the boots you can eat. I stole them from boots from Dora the Explorer. Wood? You want more wood? Here, up some anchors. Maybe you lose all your teeth. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm just not taking this game seriously anymore. Let's just move on. And we have a coloring book. Yeah, you basically just fill in the gaps, really. Yeah, that looks right, right guys? Right? Here's a look at all the other pictures you can put in if you really care. Lots of pictures, alright, alright, alright. Yeah, we're not gonna stick around there. And we have Gary's Goose Art. Yeah, you can draw pictures using Gary's Ooze. It's kind of cool. Problem is, it doesn't really work all that well. I mean, like, if you want to draw someone else on the board, you have to press the only button there is on the controller than the reset button. And get them off the board, and then you press it again to put them on. It's not very efficient. So, yeah. I don't know what I'm drawing here. Let's just say this is a balloon. That looks like a balloon, right, guys? Let's clear that screen. It's gonna get out of here now. And finally, we have Seaside Sliders. I don't want this picture. There we go. So, yeah, if you couldn't guess, this is a slider puzzle. You can move all the pieces at once if you want. Move them two at a time, or you can just move them one at a time. Like so. I'm, and you can change the difficulty by pressing this. I'm gonna go to the easy mode, because, well, I, uh... I'm not very good at slider puzzles. Just gonna put this in place. There we go. We have two pieces in place already. There we go. Uh, this brings back haunting memories of Nancy Drew the Haunting of Castle Lola, where that, that slider puzzle that I spent ages on. It's actually in the right spot. Whatever. Hey, I did it! Yay! Yay! You know, just for that, let's do another one, because that actually was a lot shorter than I thought it was going to take. Let's see. I'm not doing very good. Uh, let's do a different picture. Let's see. Where are we at it's on time? We're at 12 minutes. I'll wait until the 15 minute mark and then I'll end this video. Do that. Hey, there we go. I did it, guys. I did it. Yay. <laughs> And yeah, that's pretty much SpongeBob's Dilly Dabbler in a nutshell. Yeah, so yeah, I'm probably like one of the only people in the world who actually has this game. I've had it for uh, quite a number of years now. Not the most exciting video in the world, but 
I felt like I kind of need to get a video out to kind of hold you guys over until Saturday, because I plan on doing a little update video then. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. See you later, everyone.